15 now and 9.25, Miss Chu is in the building. Matthew Morrison, that's not him. That's not Matthew Morrison. <laughs> there he is there. <laughs> it's going very well. <laughs> He joins me to talk about being part of one of the biggest shows to come out of the US and playing a father-to-be in his latest romantic comedy. And she was crowned the winner of The X Factor in 2000. The year surrounded by hormonal teenagers as Mr Shu in Glee. My next guest has moved over to the big screen to be surrounded by hormonal mothers-to-be in his new movie, What to Expect When You're Expecting. I'm going to be talking to Matthew in just a minute. First, though, let's take a look at him in action. Not circumcising my baby. Well done, well done. Front page. Okay, look, I was going to tell you. Why is this such a big deal Because I don't think that it's right. And I'm his mother. Yeah, and I'm his father. Parenthood is about compromise. Well, then compromise, Evan. I have. Then every relationship, there's an alpha and a beta. And, yeah, and I'm, I'm the, the alpha. alpha. What? No, no, I'm the alpha. alpha. No, no, I am. Jinx. What are you guys doing? Come on, pick it up. Oh, fantastic. Join me now, Matthew Morrison. Great to see you. Great to see you too. Really lovely to see you. And this has had such a lot of attention. I mean, the, the cast is just jam-packed with stars. Yeah. But strangely, based on a manual? Based yeah, on a sort of book it, on... it's, a, it's a very popular uh, kind of self-help book. Yeah. Um, I guess you help yourself having a baby. But uh, no, but the, 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 the book is a very kind of scientific approach right. and like this is what's going to happen to your body. Mm. Um, this is what to expect. Uh, but the, the movie is I think uh, it humanizes it and right. it brings these interesting stories of uh, you know having birth mm. and uh, puts it into real life. Yeah, of course. Well, the, we see you with uh, Cameron Diaz, of course. You two in, in real true life would make amazing babies. Whoa. Thank you. <laughs> I'd like to think so. I <laughs> think so, they would be great. She was just absolutely, like, uh, exactly what you would expect Cameron Diaz to be like. Just Good. bubbly and just funny and, and goofy and playing pranks, and she was just wonderful. No, that's great. So it was a good experience. It was a funny experience to, to make. I bet, I'll bet yeah. you did. Did it make you a bit broody, though? Um, no, I don't think it really no. changed how I felt about <laughs> having kids. I mean, I know, I've always known I wanted to have kids. Sure. Uh, just, you know, when the, when the time is right, when I meet the right person exactly. and all that stuff. Exactly. One day. One yeah. day it will happen. And our Cheryl Cole has got a little tiny cameo in, in the movie, hasn't she? She's does. very excited about that. I think she's coming. You're all coming to the premiere tonight. Yeah, yeah I think she's she'll be at the premiere. Be there too, um, she, she was is. great. Uh, it was actually great to meet Cheryl Cole in person because... I mean, I, I come to London a lot, yeah. and, and you can't really escape London without hearing about Cheryl Cole. Of she's course. on every magazine and everything. But uh, it was great to meet her as a human being, mm. and uh, and to, she's just so lovely, and had a really nice good. chat with her. Good. Yeah. It's, it's very good for her. I think. I think it's it's great. Yeah, yeah it's great and she was for her to do she was that. great in it. So, are you sorted out for your outfit tonight for the premiere? Uh, yes, I am. Good. <laughs> Although boys don't have to worry as much as girls. No, it's they not don't too really. bad. You just shove a suit on and you'll be, shove a you'll suit be absolutely on, ready to go. fine. I know. <laughs> and Glee's still loving Glee. You yeah. know, it's just, just great, isn't it? it so, so good. I liked when you had Gwyneth Paltrow and I, I had no idea that she could sing so well. I didn't either. Amazing. I didn't either. She was wonderful. And, and uh, it was probably my favourite time of the mm. show was actually working with her. Uh, we had such great fun and it was we got to dance together and sing together and you know she's just become such a great friend of mine that's good and you're a bit of a regular at the white house have I you am. been performing there quite a lot um i <laughs> think i've met the obamas about seven times um i got a little crush on michelle i'm not gonna lie i can understand um, <laughs> that i think everybody has girls have got a girl crush on her no, I think she's, she's, amazing she's, lady. she's a beautiful woman yeah. and uh i mean my, my favorite experience is when i went there uh, recently, I sang uh, at the Christmas time, mm -hmm. and I sang this Hawaiian Christmas song. It's called Melikaliki Maka, and it means Merry Christmas in Hawaiian. Right. And I, you know, I'm kind of pandering to the president because he's from there. Indeed, but that's uh, all right. I, though. I, I, I sang it, and then <laughs> afterwards, there's you know, there's always like a line, and everyone greets the president and mm -hmm. shakes his hand. And he was so, I guess, taken by it. He goes, Matthew, and he gives me a big <laughs> hug, and it was, it was really what God, a, what a cool special, moment. special moment in your yeah, life. That's very... extraordinary. Now, look, do you still stand on your head at the end of a day? Because I read somewhere that just to relieve the stress of the day, you stand in your head, and I thought, what a good idea. You know, I, 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 I that's been interesting. No, I, I only do that when I'm when I'm really tired. Okay. Because like, we work long hours on the set and everything, and if I'm tired and I just kind of get need to get a little boost of energy. And does it work? It does. It kind of rushes the blood to the head. Blood goes to the, just, the, ah, yeah, I think that's a great going. idea. Yeah. Do you? How long do you have to do it for for it to work? Not, uh, not long. <laughs> not too long. Maybe like 
30 seconds. Oh, okay. Yeah. And have you got some time over here? Because I know that in your background you've got Scottish roots and I just wonder if you've ever had a chance to go to Scotland, find out about your family or do all of that thing. Is that Funny you like should to ask do? that. Yeah. No. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I can point you in the right direction. I, I would love to be pointing in the right direction. <laughs> Maybe we'll talk after the break. But <laughs> I... I uh, I've never been, and I yeah. do have a, a, I'm about, I'm half Scottish. Right. Um, oh, you get such a big warm welcome. Big yeah, warm welcome you I get. mean, that would be great. I, I know. I, I so it's it's one of those things, up. I think you do it, because we, we started to do it as well. I think it's one of those things that you do when you, when you have kids. You know, going back to the movie, talking about kids, but when you have children, I think you then want to sort of pass something on to them. So that's when you maybe start looking at... I should start learning. Back. Where, yeah. where I'm from. I know, it's, I know it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's really good. And you've been doing so many things. I, I really am looking forward to seeing this um, documentary you've done on Oscar Hammerstein because that's just going to be... Yeah, um, uh, this PBS special. Um, I, I hosted this, this special on Oscar Hammerstein, who I think is just, you know, is one of the biggest uh, songwriters of our, our, and composers of our, of, of our time. Um, him and Rodgers and Hammerstein. Oh, amazing, and, amazing. You know, so it, it was... It was really great learning a lot about him and, mm. and his history and where he comes from. And it turned out really well. Yeah, great. I'm looking forward to that. I really yeah. am. Look, enjoy the premiere tonight. Thank you so I hope much. It goes really, really well. Thank but you. you know, as a bloke, you'll be overshadowed by all the girls' frocks. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be fine. It's great to see you. Absolutely. Thank you very much indeed. And uh, Alexander Burke.